everyone and welcome back to another shell finding adventure our first shell find day it's, <laughs> I'm, I'm laughing because I was uh I saw this one kind of planned to pick up this one first I went to put my uh, bucket down cast my eyes to the other side of the shell pile I had to put my bucket there so I wouldn't lose sight of it here we go oh my goodness yes it is hole on the bottom, everyone. It's a very nice little shell. This guy is a Gaia Triton. I was kind of like surprised that I didn't find any of these yesterday when I was having such good luck with the minis. I mean, I checked this pile so much yesterday as well. But anyway, a new Gaia Triton has washed up for us. And uh, yeah, let's see what other goodies we can get from here. And yes, I did also see that there is a little, um, oh, it's a smiley bean, a little smiley bean trivia right here. A type of trivia shell. It looks very similar to a cowrie, but it's not. It's it's a cowrie ally. Uh, that's where I got my crowned cone from. I was not actually looking over on this uh, other side. Hello. Okay, that was just sitting there. I'm kind of wondering if that was even in frame when I uh, gave my introduction just a minute ago. Here we are. It's a beautiful brown lined paper bubble. Just been finding these almost every trip lately. So beautiful. So absolutely paper thin. It's wonderful that I get so many of them washed up intact like this. Another bubble. This is like, I literally moved my butt half a meter forward and I, I, I did not see this when I was like scoping out the pile originally. This is a very nice brown bubble. I remember because I literally just finished wrapping up the last episode um, because it started raining the day before so I couldn't do it that day that I found another big bubble too. So that one was cracked. Okay, there's like a lot of these guys washing up lately, I guess. That is very cool. They're a very uh, thick shell compared to the brown lined paper bubble. Oh, little fella, and there's one there, and there's one there. I like, again, squished my butt forward just a little bit. Let's uh, let's do this properly. I'll show you one at a time. First of all, the graceful cowrie. I actually saw him second. The one I saw first was this cowrie, the small-toothed cowrie. Pretty much the smallest cowrie species that we can find here. This is a fully adult shell. He's uh, not going to get any bigger than that. And this guy, yes, they are more common than you might expect. Uh, it is a Lamellose Wendell trap. I saw him last. <laughs> oh, another crowned cone. I'm looking for some nice crowned cones. I feel like I've gone a while without finding some real stunners. Yep, and I also want this guy. Wow, he's actually quite large and darkly colored. He's beautiful. This one is a gaudy dog whelk. They're kind of common here until they're not. So sometimes you'll see them uh, fairly regularly and then you'll go months without seeing a single one. Pretend you do not see this mound that I uh, greedily scooped towards me. I am checking through it for some nice minis though. Just pulled out this fellow or just had him like fall out I should say. It is a cute little baby migrating moon snail. Well I figured it was time to check the rock pools. What do we think everyone? Is that guy alive? Right in there. I'm sorry the uh, camera wasn't really centered on him very well. Uh, how do I do this without a crushing him and B hurting myself on his spines. Sir, are you actually alive, dude? I can't tell. With these sea urchins, guys, I really can't tell if they're alive or not. Although looking at him, oh, he's moving, I can actually tell this time. <gasps> that feels wild. Okay, yeah, you can sort of, if I hold it steady enough, I think it was easier to see on the top side, you can sort of see some of his spines moving. I'm pretty sure. Yes, definitely. Okay, he's a live one. I think he was upside down. I'm pretty sure that's his mouth in the center. I've got no idea where the best place for these guys is. I'm just going to put them back where I found him. Oh, that was fun. Oh, that's super fun. Please don't let anyone stand on you. I thought maybe I was wasting time going around to this side because uh, I'm not sure how things are going to be on the other side of the lighthouse. Um, but I've... Uh, Oh, he's nice, everyone. I spotted this guy and I'm like, I'm hoping for the best, but expecting the worst because I found a lot of very broken bonnets this last week. And only like, I, no, actually, you know, I did find a very nice one, but that's beside the point. Anyway, this guy is an absolutely beautiful banded bonnet. Oh my. Ooh. Yep, that's probably what brought him in in the first place. If that did not have a white base, I would not have seen it. This one, it's, ooh. Oh, I'm not sure if it's going to be shiny or calcified or not. It's very large though. This guy is a yellow tinted cowrie. We'll have to see how he dries. I absolutely stepped over that when I picked up this guy. Not sure if he's going to be good yet, but this one looks like a keeper. Unless there's a, oh, <laughs> unless there is a creature in it. Look at that yellow thing right there. That is a, a snail boy. He's got his operculum in front of the opening. I'm sorry, Mr. Snail Boy. I don't know where you should go, but I'm going to leave you exactly where I collected you from. 
Okie dokie, time to check out the other side of the lighthouse. Not sure how good we'll go, it is low tide, except the tide is up quite high because of the lunar cycle. Just saw this guy, it's a pretty average looking snakehead cowrie, but it might be the only thing I get from here, so we're gonna take it. Is that another good bonnet find? I'm like, oh, it is whole, okay. Yeah, it's another banded bonnet, it's got a very light color. Um, I've been looking over at this side of the lighthouse for a while and I haven't really found anything, so that's a very nice one to take with me. This guy, I kind of saw him like swooshing around when that wave was coming. Here we go. Actually, he's quite nice. I thought he looked a bit rough underwater. This guy is just a little Spangler's trumpet. He's a very cute one. He's like nice and bulbous around there. Oh, everyone, am I having a bonnet day? Oh, stretch this guy. I know there's one stuck in there, but I'm not interested in him. Yeah, it's another it's another bonnet. This guy is a checkered bonnet this time. He's just a little one. They are they get a bit bigger than that. Okay. Um, I was surprised that more like intact bonnets didn't wash up after all the rain. I guess they're just starting to wash up now. I really want to look in there. I want to look in that mystery cave of doom, but it's uh it's called Doom for a reason. It's just a little bit too dangerous, probably for the next week before the tide goes down again. No, 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 no. Oh my goodness, are you whole? My goodness. <gasps> it is whole on top and it's just full of a bit of sand. Are you kidding me? I was like checking the other side of the lighthouse and I was like, I don't know, I was a little bit upset that, oh no, I've wasted the low tide time over here and all I got was a bonnet or two. Um, wow. Oh, <laughs> don't, don't, don't drop your pretty shell, Maddie. Uh, this is an Angaria shell. They're actually quite uncommon here. This is like literally the third or the fourth one I found. I think it's the fourth one. He's got a little hole right in his tip. That's like the only negative thing I could say about it. Lovely shine on the inside as well, although it does look quite old on the inside too. Um, I dare say that a hermit crab maybe had this as a home for a while and has decided to let it go. Let it go to me, I think. I just turned around and this guy is sitting here right in the same Angaria rock pool. Um, let's take a look on the inside. I don't see a crab, but I will keep an eye on it. It is like sub-adult maybe. He hasn't grown his final very long spines. This is a prickly spotted droop shell. Oh, that one looks maybe kind of nice. Um, oh, he's actually quite nice on top. Um, I'm just trying to decide if that's the uh, the yellow-toothed cowrie or something else. It seems like it's got a fairly large opening. It must have been a almost like ready to grow its teeth on either side of the opening. Anyway, yeah, that's my best guess. A lovely juvenile yellow-toothed cowrie. So I was originally going to cut this clip from the video. It's just me picking up a big broken red triton shell. And uh, let me just slow it down for a bit. <laughs> Something zooms out of it and absolutely scares the bejesus out of me. I mean, it's just a fish, it was fine. But I wanted to mention that something else can sometimes hide in large shells. And it's this guy. He is a blue ringed octopus and he's about the size of a golf ball. He is very adorable. He's sometimes a gray color, beige, usually a yellow color and he's got these beautiful blue rings on him that light up like a Christmas tree. And you know what? He's actually got a very deadly bite. He's one of the most venomous creatures on the planet. So I just wanted to mention this because we're a few days out from the Easter school holidays and I know a lot of my watchers are Australian and do want to go to the beach to find some seashells. But uh, if you do see this guy and if your kids see this guy, do not pick him up and play with him. Just let it go about its business. And uh, with that out of the way, let's get back to the shelling adventure. No, I picked up something from there. A wave came in. I'm like, oh, I better sit still. Oh my goodness, this was not there three seconds ago. <gasps> wow. <gasps> oh my goodness, everyone. I knew you could find these from here because I've seen other people find them from here, but I've never found one of them from here. Actually, I've never found one of these ever. Oh my goodness, am I yelling? <laughs> I think I'm yelling everyone, look at this guy. Um, it is not a cowrie shell. It's got a, it's got a bit of a, sh a schmark right there, a schmark. I don't know what, the, what I don't know what I'm saying. I, I've lost the words, everyone. This is one that I've really wanted to find from here for a very long time. Um, it's not a cowrie shell. It is like, like the bean trivia's. It is a cowrie ally or a false cowrie. It's an avula shell, an egg shell. I think this one's like like actually called the pink avula. Um, wow, super excited because I actually filmed myself picking up something not so great from down here. I swear I did not see that like 
30 centimeters behind it. That is so cool. Oh, oh, <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> Ooh, okay, gotta calm down. I'm sorry for yelling, everyone. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, there is a lot of shells down here. I have not checked this spot today. Actually, I haven't checked this spot in a little while. I'm just gonna go with an easy one. Not sure if the rest of them are just like bits of shells or, or what have you. This one is a lovely cream colored bladder moon snail. Just a bit different than the Harvey Bay ones. I should have come to this uh, spot with all of the shells before the, uh, the tide started to come back in because it's making it very difficult to check. This might be one that I have to look at another day. What is that? It almost looks like a turkey wing shape. Oh, it is a turkey wing shape. I was not expecting that at this beach. Um, I usually find these guys up at Harvey Bay, although yes, they can turn up here as well. This guy's got like a nice pinkish red color. I don't know if it's because it's an old shell or because it's supposed to be like that, but um, yeah, I reckon he can come with us. I really have not found very many bivalves today, have I? Oh, hello. And there is like, is this one hole next to it? No, that's just a piece, hello. I was planning to go to the, uh, to, the, to the rack line to finish up after checking a bit more of the rock pools. Didn't think I'd find one of these yet. It is a donkey cowrie, very, very adorable. Definitely empty as well. He can uh, definitely come with us. Oh, that is sneaky, sir. Are you a live one? This guy is a giant hairy triton by the looks of it. Is it a live one? I think it might be a live one. I can't, hold on, my best effort. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I was almost ready to give up on that. Are you freaking for serious? Oh my goodness, everyone. Oh my goodness, giant waves have brought it all the way. Ooh, it's gross inside. Ew. Like, like, look at that. It's, I mean, it's like, the tide's been coming up for an hour, but the waves are still way out there. Hardly anything big washes up here. Oh my goodness, it was full of black sand, I think. Oh, that's so nice. That's so nice, he's a very big size. Um, everyone, this is a giant hairy triton and I rarely find them with uh, all of their hair still intact. That is absolutely wonderful. The hair protects the shell underneath. So as long as the hair is on the shell, like whichever parts are covered with hair are actually going to be very, very good underneath. Like the condition is gonna be very good for the shell. Like after I bleach it, it'll be shiny. It won't go white when it dries. It's gonna be very, very nice. Oh my goodness, that is stunning. I'm super happy about that. That was so unexpected. Is he whole? Yes. Yes, he is whole. That's a nice one, actually. Wow. Wow. Okay. Got myself a scaly scallop right here. It's got a lovely black color. Not sure if that whiteness up there means he's going to dry white, but uh, I hope he stays nice. Is it whole? I mean, yes, I think it is whole. It might be a bit worn away. It looks like I've got for myself a leafy oyster right here. I'll make sure to give him a bit of a cleanup. I haven't been giving the bivalves much love today, so, uh, hey two out of you know 40 shells that's pretty good oh he is pretty he looks shiny like he looks shiny even though he's still a little bit wet he's like got a nice gloss on him this is oh he's got lovely purple on the ends this is a yellow toothed cowrie i got a juvenile one earlier this one looks like he might be a slightly sub-adult not quite an adult yet also, as always, I am going to pick up a few nice pieces of this stuff, lovely lace coral. It has been absolutely common and everywhere lately, but I really like it. They look really good in a jar together. Oh, that's something different. I think I may be wanted. Yeah, here we go. This guy is a joined Pacific jewel box. There we go, the mollusk lives inside and kind of like slurp stuff off of the tide when it sits on the rock it usually like fuses to a rock right there anyway very cool they come in like a lot of different colors like purple brown red and orange someone did mention that it looks like a toilet and i completely agree this is like the toilet seashell i'm sorry if you like it so here are the shell finds for today and if you've enjoyed them please hit that like button for me and subscribe if you want to see more shelling adventures people can you believe that i nearly did not come today like i came yesterday i don't usually do two days in a row and i thought to myself oh it's just gonna be like wet shoes putting on the same wet shoes it's just gonna be all minis it won't be anything like too different oh my goodness what a uh, difference it was holy guacamole everyone and of course it is the end of the video now so it's time to talk about a favorite and if you do have a favorite as well please let me know down in the comments um yeah like i said it's a big difference than uh yesterday which was all just mini shells this time i went into the rock pools got the surprise of my life so uh 
Oh, I, I, I'm like breezing over special mentions. I think, I think I'm going straight to favorites. Um, got the surprise of my life when I saw this guy. Absolutely huge, lovely, giant, hairy triton that was extremely well hidden. That is just like, oh my goodness, like surprising is the only word I can use for it. I think he's definitely a favorite. Also quite unusual was a, a rock pool close to the shore with this guy. A lovely Angaria shell. Couldn't believe that was waiting for me. Couldn't believe no one else had spotted it. Just absolutely fantastic. And uh, finally, the main favorite for the day. And yes, there are a lot of bonnets. Maybe the bonnets get a special mention. They're like really, really lovely this time around. But my favorite has got to be this guy. The pink eggshell, the pink avula. Absolutely beautiful. I was thinking about it as I was walking around like, for my first one, I can't believe how nice it is. Like I could have found like a really rough and pitted one. I could have found a cracked one, but no, I found one that's actually like in very nice condition with like a, like a very subtle pink color on it. I wonder if bleach will remove that. I'm not sure. I'm just like gushing about it. I think that's absolutely wonderful. So yep, I think those three are my favorites for the day. And that's it for this time, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.